What is up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So the chopper is on the lift again and if you watched the last video um, I almost wrecked this bike coming back from my 1500 mile round trip that I took on it and uh, that was because the heim joint on the front brake failed and uh, so we're going to replace that brake line as well as some other stuff. We're going to fix the rear fender that broke on me and uh, I got a whole box of goodies right there behind me from TC Bros and Lowbrow Customs, both right there. If either of you ever want to sponsor my channel, I would absolutely love it. Lord knows I have spent thousands of dollars with both of you. So, <laughs> shameless plug there. I love, I love both of those companies. They're awesome people. But we have uh, some parts over here in the box. We're going to get that put on. And uh, I think the bike is going to go through some changes. Just things learned on the road. Uh, Jake's over there. He's going to help with some of this. But um, the rear axle needs to be swapped. It needs to be flipped over because the way it's on right now, you would have to pull the exhaust to uh, take the rear wheel off, which is not exactly serviceable. As well as I'm going to change how this rear exhaust... Rear exhaust... doesn't have front exhaust. I guess it's got a front cylinder, but I'm going to change how this exhaust is mounted. So right now there's a clamp that holds it to the frame. We're actually going to weld a, uh, a piece on so it'll bolt to that. Again, just more serviceability. And um, a new sissy bar. Just redesigning a lot of stuff on this bike. And then once it's all redesigned and everything is to our liking, we're going to completely strip this bike down, engine everything out of it. And we're going to send the frame off to powder coat because uh, this rattle can finish, as to be expected. It's it's soft, right? So I'm going to pay the money and have this thing properly powder coated. So let's go over here. I'll show you guys what I have. I have a new fender from TC Bros. This is the fender I originally wanted. It was out of stock for four or five months. It's a very heavy-duty fender. So the fender that I went with was from overseas and... Uh, it's not a very thick or heavy duty fender, so it's gonna be a good thing to get that replaced. I also have some just little odds and ends for fabrication pieces. Uh, both TC Bros and Low Row are wonderful for this, as well as a tall DIY sissy bar kit, so the sissy bar will now be taller. And uh, we're gonna totally just change how this bike is set up. But I'm going to stop yapping and we're going to throw the camera up on some time lapse and start tearing some stuff off this bike. So let's hop into it.
So, as you guys saw in all the time lapse, the bike is pretty much done. Um, if I threw a chain and a battery on it right now, I could go ride it. The reason I time lapse all this, most of you probably have no idea how long a lot of the stuff takes. Uh, I am right now just in replacing this fender and getting rid of some of the stuff I've got rid of on this bike. I'm on day four right now. I probably have six hours of grinding, lots of welding. It's a lot of work, and if I if I shot every bit of that for you guys, first of all, this would be like an hour and a half long video that nobody would watch. And second of all, I would just have so much time in editing and I'd probably be on day eight instead of day four because everything takes twice as long when you're a YouTuber. It's just the way it is. But let me show you some of the stuff that got done. We have the new sissy bar, it's a taller sissy bar. I have a license plate bracket that will weld to this that's supposed to come in on Monday got that from throttle addiction so that will get welded on and the tail light will also be back here um, I removed all the air ride components as well as the mounting point for the spring seat that is all gone the battery tray has been moved about an inch and a half I've welded on this tab right here so the exhaust no longer has a, a clamp. It now actually bolts straight to the frame. And then this new fender, you will notice I've got quite a bit of fender gap there. And that was on purpose. So first of all, I love this LaPera seat, but the shape of the seat uh, requires me to have this fender where I have it. Otherwise I'd have to sit really far back and I wouldn't be able to reach my handlebars. And the other reason that fender is set up like that, just lessons learned from working on this thing on the side of the road. Um, yeah, the fender tight on the tire looks super cool. Working on that on the side of the road sucks. And unlike a lot of YouTubers, I don't just build a bike and put around town. I actually ride my stuff. I'm planning on riding this bike maybe to California next year. Who knows? There's a lot of factors going into that, gas prices and whatnot. But everything was done with the intention of being roadside serviceable on this. That's why I, I'm doing away with the axle mounted license plate. And uh, I swapped the axle around so it comes out the opposite side now so it'll be easier to service. All kinds of stuff. And that's the kind of stuff you only learn if you are sitting on the side of the road having to, to fix things. But overall, the bike is just pretty much done. I'm going to ride it for a week or two, and then strip it all down. I'll paint the fender and send the sissy bar off to chrome, get the frame powder coated. I still have to fix that front brake. I have the parts here for that. Overall, there's not a whole lot left. So uh, coming up in, what, two weeks? I guess a week from the day this video comes out, me and the wife will be at Fuel Cleveland. We're riding the Indian out there. So uh, we're going to haul butt out there on Friday. I think it's 540 miles. And then the show is Saturday. And then 540 miles back on Sunday. There's also some other projects in the works. Right now, gas prices are making everything incredibly hard. So if you want to help support the channel, we do have channel memberships. And you can also, uh, I think you can do super thanks on there. Uh, all that's super appreciated. It really does help things like this happen. But that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. I will see you all in the next one. I love each and every one of you. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, in the description box, there's links to all of our social media, as well as our company website, hotheadsalls.com, where we sell saddle pads and everything else for horses. I'm out of here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.